Hey guys, welcome to this episode of Old Guys Garage. We got a really cool episode for you today. This is part two of our oil cooler and remote oil filter build. And today we're doing, uh, we're putting the 10 AN lines on and the 10 AN fittings. And then we also have these clamps to keep uh, the two rows of 10 AN lines looking clean. So we're gonna install these on the car today and uh, let's get started. Hey guys, welcome to this episode of Old Guys Garage. We got a really cool episode for you today. We're gonna do part two of the oil cooler and remote oil filter build. And today we're putting in the 10 AN lines and the fittings on the oil cooler and the oil filter adapter and the oil, remote oil filter. So stay tuned, it's gonna be a good episode. What is up guys? Okay guys, here we have the oil filter adapter. This goes in place of the original oil filter. On the back side of this, see so you have in and out. And so that's gonna come in from the oil filter. Now the new remote oil filter that we installed. And out is gonna go to the oil cooler. And then there's the part number for it, 1579ERL. You can get these at Summit Racing is where I got this one. They're also on Amazon, but you can never beat the price at Summit. And then you can see there's two oil, two oil O-rings right there for seals. So we're gonna go ahead and install that in the place of the old oil filter. And then we're gonna put these two fittings in here and run the lines out. So in's gonna come, out's gonna go all the way to the oil cooler. And in's gonna come from the filter after the oil cooler and the filter. All right, and I'll walk you through that when we go underneath the car. Okay, guys, so we're gonna repeat the process we did in the earlier video in part one. This is part two. Now we're just gonna put a little oil on this O-ring right here. It's the dab. And we're gonna spread that around. And that's just so that that o-ring when it seals inside here doesn't get caught and doesn't tear we're gonna just wipe off the excess off the threads I don't think I got any on the threads but I'm just gonna wipe it off on the threads there I'm gonna put some Loctite this one's gonna be right up against the motor so we'll do this one first one down and you can see that nice little blue streak around there there we go all right and then once these are on the car, we're gonna measure the, this is 10 AN braided line, this is 10 AN uh, 90 degree. Uh, I like TTR, they make a really good product. It's TT Racing, I'm not sure what the TT stands for. But this is then gonna go on here like that and thread on underneath the car. This is where the old oil filter goes. And it gets, I got the bolt on one you can get thread on ones, but then thread on ones can get loose. This also could get loose, but we got two bolts holding it on. So I wanted to go with the bolt on application. And uh, there's the old threaded one on there actually is bolted on as well. So we got to unbolt that and then put this one in its place. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay guys, here's where the oil filter used to be. And we're gonna put that remote oil filter adapter there. We gotta unbolt those two bolts. So I pulled the header out because it was in the way. 
and took the oil pressure sending unit out because that was also in the way so we'll put all that back in after we put this oil adapter sending unit or oil adapter back on all right guys it was a little difficult but i got these bolts off and uh we're going to take this out the glove I can feel it better. There we go. Oh, there goes the nut. The bolt. Alright. Take that out. And that's where the new Earl's oil, fil oil filter adapter goes. Alright, let's show you putting that in. Alright guys, we're going to put some Loctite on these bolts. Last thing we want is an oil leak from this. That should be good. Okay. Good. All right, got some help today. <laughs> All right, where am I focusing on? There it is. All right, so there's the Earl's oil filter adapter. And let me just tighten this screw up here. Sorry, there we go. All right, there we have it. Sweet. Okay guys, that's what the Earl's oil filter adapter looks like. And to me it looks bitching. I like it. So, we're gonna put two 90s one here and one here coming off this way and those will be the stainless braided lines so stay tuned for that we're gonna do that now okay guys we got one of our lines done this line goes from the oil cooler to the oil filter and it's the return line so let's go install this on the car all right guys we have two lines here and we need three so we're gonna stick the longer one in and then get a measurement on where to cut it. And okay, so there's the 10 a.m. line. This fitting is going to take the place of that one right there and go on the cooler. And that goes all the way down to the oil filter adapter where the oil filter used to be. Okay, you can see I got tape on all the openings. We got little spiders out here and uh, they tend to find little holes. So they're all covered up until I get them all uh, sealed up. So here's our 10 and line coming down from the fender. And I put a little piece of tape on it where it needs to get cut. It's gonna go into this line right here. So we're gonna pull that out and cut the other end. guys when I cut that in this one this in I wanted to show you what I was wearing so I was wearing the respirator because you get fumes off the rubber and then I was wearing my goggles to make sure that any metal that was coming off of this doesn't get in your eyes so you want to make sure you're wearing the right safety equipment uh, respirator and definitely wear some goggles um, also Harbor Freight makes a really cool full face mask and uh, that'll work good too as a full face mask. All right, let's get this wrapped with some electrical tape and then get the end on. And when you're doing this, you don't want to put too many layers on, but you want to keep it tight, real tight. Maybe 
put too many layers on, then it won't work. The tape will be too thick for the fitting to get over. WD-40 on this. Alright guys, we're going to blow out these lines, make sure there's no little um, black particles from the hose, from building the hose, in the hose. And down there, you can kind of see uh, I have it off down there you can see at the bottom so let's go ahead and blow this out look down there see the hose moving all right should be good let's throw that is where we're gonna put this lead on So there's one feeding on. I don't know exactly where this is going to run until we get the header in there. So we're just going to leave it uh, mocked up for right now until we get the header put in. All right, one more line. Look, uh, we got the oil cooler hosed up, all connected. So this line right here comes in from the motor hot to the cooler there, goes through the cooler under this panel, comes out here cool, goes to the oil filter, right there, and then from the oil filter it's going to go back to the motor, filtered and cool. So it's getting there. Thanks guys, thanks for watching. Got one more line to run. The from the filter to the motor. And I ran out of 10 a.m. line, so I gotta order some more line. As soon as that comes in, we'll finish it. And uh, that's looking pretty good. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, thanks for watching today's episode and staying through it to the end. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Really appreciate that and appreciate all you guys liking uh, the videos. Uh, that helps us with the YouTube algorithm and we get more views that way. So really appreciate that. And so stay tuned for the next video when we finish up the stainless braided lines and make mounting brackets for the cooler and finish up this project. So thanks, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.